WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, March the 11th. This is the Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Uh, Dow's up 210 and 33,382. Really struggling, holding the uh, nine period exponential moving average. We were looking for subscribers to my opening call. We were looking for a test of the uh, 14 period moving average. It got there 33,515. Can it hold is the big question. And then there was that uh, probably a rumor or something about Putin, which which seemed to help the market for a moment. You'll see it right here in the uh, E-mini, the 10-minute chart. Look at the big spike. goes from about 4260s uh, all the way to a high today, 4335. Now it's down. It's testing the 200-period exponential moving average. It's only up $4 after being up huge. So we're looking at some give back and this is going to be really important and that's just talking to the the queasiness of the market you're looking at the s p at this particular point the s p is up 2.56 that's the cash at 42.62 at a nice spike to 42.91 couldn't even hold the nine period exponential moving average but the day is young we'll see what happens later on there could be an, another bit of buying but i suspect over the weekend you going into the friday close there'll probably be some selling 330.60 on the um, qqq ndx 100 trading vehicle down 63 cents stopped right at the nine period moving average just can't get through iwm the russell 2000 small caps looking at a nice prop to the upside up 21 cents at 200.30 it's still behaving like one of the better indices even though it's not breaking out it's just holding very well gold Gold at this point is down 18. Remember Fridays I went crazy things happened with gold. Um, it hit, it's at 1982. It hit on the continuous contract. It went to about the 2076 level uh, just four sessions ago. Today's low was 1960. This is the area that I think there'll be some kind of consolidation. It's still kind of the place to be as a fear factor. There's no question about it. Looking at crude oil, also pulling back sharply from the recent highs, it's up 80 cents now at 106.86. Hit 100, hit, I mean, also 130. And now it's down, but still acting extremely well. And bonds, we're going to have to talk about bonds because this is serious stuff. Uh, bonds are at 134. I'll be back for the Tiger Conditions Hour. I'll also be sitting in for the hour, Larry Pesavento's Hour. So uh, stay tuned for great programming coming up. See you in a few minutes.